What's going on YouTube? Hello my tackle hoarders out there. APFA here again, back in the test tank. And today we have the Smart Baits. We have the Bayou Bug. Um, this is the Pro Series Baits, I guess. Um, what we're working with here today is a Creature Style Baits. Let me pull one out and show you guys. That's what we're working with here. Bunch of legs on it. It, it kind of imitates a craw, I guess. Um, we all know these are color changing baits. If you didn't know that, they warmer water, the change of color. I got one soaking right now in warm water. Um, I have one rigged up in the test tank right now <clears throat> on a 4 aught EWG Texas rigged. That's my preferred way of fishing. I fish a lot of heavy cover. Um, all the lakes I fish, they're all pretty well weeded. So my preferred method to throw soft plastic is, is on a Texas rig just to keep it uh, weedless like that. Um, you get a lot of good action out of that. Those little side claws coming off of there. I'll show you guys a modification I do to these. They, they build these plastics with uh, uh, I don't know what you would want to call it but uh, kind of like uh, uh, they're, they're pre-cut kind of let me pull one out of the hot water um, the color that you see right now is like a, a a brown almost you know almost call it green pumpkin and in warm water it goes to this watermelon color here. And you can see as the bait starts to cool, like on those legs there, it's going to turn back. Um, let me catch one of these real quick. Um, these claws here, if you can see right down the middle of that, there's a line, kind of like perforated. And I go ahead and I cut these down and give it kind of like more action. Um, I'm not a big paddle tail style type of guy. I kind of like want the action to be more of a curly tail or a cut tail and my plastics to cause more vibrations, more thump in the water. Um, the tail here too is slotted. It's like pre-cut. It's hard to see when it's going back this, this dark color. Um, I split that too. I'll show you guys on the bait here that, shortly that I did it on already. But I recommend splitting the tail uh, like I have it and doing the modifications to those little claws on the side. So on the drop or on a swim, you get more action out of them. Um, the color, the normal color, I kind of like. Um, I think it's a uh, more natural craw color variation of it. So I'd have no problem throwing these as they are. Um, I don't, like I stayed always, I don't know how warm the water is for it to transition to the other color. But like I state with all these, <clears throat> you're either going to have this brown color or that, that watermelon color. Give me a second here. Now this one you can see on those little claws there. I went ahead and just ran my fingernail down and split them like that. Like I say, you get more vibration, more action, more thump out of them. And I split the tail. Like I said, they, they pre-cut them, perforate them, whatever you want to say. So it makes real easy. If you, you know, real easy with the knife or your nail or something like that. Um, I highly recommend it that way. Um, this is probably a bait I would throw on the back of a jig. Um, to mimic a cross style. I don't think I would necessarily uh, fish this any other way. It's just my, not my preference on bait to uh, swim back to the boat. Texas rig just on a straight retrieve like that. 
Um, you could try to pitch it and flip it, but like I said, there's, as you saw actually, there's a lot of stuff hanging off of there that might get caught up in some things. So not my ideal of pitching and flipping either. But here it is transitioned one more time. And like I said, you know, both these are, are pretty good colors. You can already see the legs turning back to that brown. Um, in a couple of minutes here, you'll see the core start changing. It, it doesn't take very long. So, um, like I always say about these, this is a very cool concept. Um, some of their baits I would use just for what they are. I believe they make a fluke, a ribbon tail. They make a single style bait. Um, they make goby, which I, I, I did a tank test on. Um, I really like that. I'll use that for what it is. But just on the idea of color changing bits, it, it doesn't catch me. You know, it does, it's not in my market. And you can already see everything's going back to brown. It doesn't take long once it cools down. I got it in very warm water. I wanted to try to keep it the yellow color as long as I could. But you can see here, it, in about 30 seconds, you know, it's going to be back to brown outside of that water. I mean, I can dunk it in the tank here, and you can watch how fast it goes back. And everything but the core right now is back. Um, the water in the tank is roughly... Uh, about 60 degrees you know the water I have it soaking in is much warmer than that obviously I don't know exactly how warm that is but like I said um, you're either going to have that brown or that watermelon nothing in between um, it transitions back really fast depending on you know the warm water you see it's already pretty much back the green the watermelon and now it's going back to the brown so a cool concept like always I always say that cool concept just on the preference of the the selling point of it being a color changing bait um, is not for me but uh, they do make some some baits that you know will suit you guys but I'm gonna get on out of here that was the tank test of the smart baits the Bayou Bug. Um, throw it on a jig. That's what I would do if you have them. Got them in a lucky tackle box. But I throw them in the test tank for you guys like always. But I'm going to get on out of here. So thanks for checking out the video. Like the video. Share the video. Leave me a comment. I always try to reply. And please, if you haven't, please subscribe. Um, I'm almost at 100 if I haven't hit it by now. But uh, your support would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.